Ukraine strikes Russian ships, state-of-the-art aerial defenses in Crimea. Ukraine destroyed state-of-the-art Russian air defenses in Crimea and captured two key towns near the eastern city of Bakhmut in the 82nd week of the war. Ukrainian forces may also have put three modern Russian warships out of action, demonstrating an increasing ability to attack enemy assets at range while maintaining the momentum of their territorial gains. Ukraine appears to have used naval drones to mount two separate attacks on Russian warships on September 14. Ukraine's strategic command claimed it struck two of Russia's Vasily Bikov Project 22,160-class patrol ships causing unspecified damage. The Ukrainian government released video footage of the Vasily Bikov, commissioned in 2018, firing at a surface drone as it apparently closes in for attack. Russia's defense ministry said only that its Black Sea fleet had destroyed two unmanned semi-submersible boats in the southwestern part of the Black Sea, belonging to Ukraine. Separately, the Ukrainska Pravda news outlet reported that a naval drone had caused damage to the rear starboard hull of a Bora-class guided missile corvette, the Samum, near the entrance to Sevastopol port, forcing it to be towed for repairs. With a roll to starboard. For this attack, the SBU, Ukraine's secret service, used an experimental model of a marine drone, which is capable of operating in a storm, hiding from detection behind high waves, Ukrainska Pravda reported. During the special operation, the height of the waves reached 1.5 to 2 meters, the news outlet added. Russia's defense ministry said the Samum had successfully defended itself and destroyed the unmanned naval boat. But photographs circulated online showed the Samum being towed by two tugboats. A day later, Ukraine reportedly attacked another Russian patrol boat, the Askold, with unknown results. Phillips O'Brien, professor of strategic studies at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, called the attack on the Samum one of the most well-executed and planned operations of this war so far, adding, Ukraine is not only holding its own in the sea power war, it is actually winning it. Ukraine has been stepping up attacks on Russia's Black Sea fleet and its base in Crimea at Sevastopol. On September 12th, Ukraine launched missiles and drones to successfully hit the Russian landing ship, Minsk, an Akilo-class submarine docked at Sevastopol for repairs. The war at sea has escalated since July 17th. Ukraine used unmanned surface drones to damage the Kerch Bridge, the second time it succeeded in doing so, connecting Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula, which was annexed by Moscow in 2014, to the Russian mainland. Russia pulled out of a UN-backed agreement in July that had allowed Ukraine to export many thousands of tons of grain from its blockaded Black Sea ports. After pulling out of the deal, Russia warned that it would use its naval power to stop Black Sea exports by Ukraine. Russia has since struck Ukrainian ports and grain silos on the Danube River in a clear effort to prevent exports across the river to Romania and onward through European overland. Ukraine has responded by intensifying long-distance attacks against Russia's Black Sea fleet and against Crimea. Ukraine destroyed a Russian state-of-the-art S-400 Triumph air defense missile system in Crimea on August 23.